What was your childhood dream? Um, I don't think that I really had a childhood dream. Like my dream started when I was around 10 to 12 something. One dream for sure was becoming a soccer pro as I was playing soccer back then. But I think the bigger dream now that I reflected that after like 18, 20 years later is I wanted to have a music label, like a record label for punk rock and hardcore because that was the stuff that I was into back then. And basically everything that has to do with this, which means uh, shooting music videos, recording music, having to do with bands and artists. And basically I'm not that far away from what my dream was. It just, um, it split it up in, in different media forms or art forms. And now I'm into photography, into video, I'm doing some music productions and my whole network is basically consisting of artists and creative people. And basically from that point, I'm kind of living my childhood dream. Cool. What is success to you? Um, in one word, I would say freedom. Like, I don't see success as monetary success. For me, it's getting up every morning and deciding what I want to do on this day. And basically deciding what I do, want to do in my whole life. But I think if you get up in the morning and look into the mirror and you can decide what you want to do, if you want to work or if you want to just sit around, read a book or go to a cafe or do whatever, that's the biggest success that you can have in life, I guess. What has been the greatest challenge so far in your life? I think a challenge that comes back all the time is to believe in your own way and what you're doing because if you don't choose like a classic way in a normal environment you always ask yourself on a point of success it's easy of course you have your success and you get your status and everything but if you're working on an idea that you really feel inside and you you're at a point where you get obstacles in front of your way it's always the thing keeping on that straight path and always keeping and believing in yourself I think that's the hardest part and there were many obstacles I mean in the last 10 years I had many situations where I had no money at all and I had no perspective and I didn't know how to go on with my projects but in the end I don't know it's 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 challenges and it's what makes you stronger and makes you more experienced and from that point I don't have one certain challenge that I would say it's a constant challenge but it's also what keeps you alive I guess. So what has been a defining moment in your life? I mean one of the most defining moments is getting to know you because that changed so many things because before that uh, I had these dreams and I was already working on things that I really wanted to do and I was always kind of a rebel but getting to know you and later on getting to know the whole network and what you're doing and stuff was like getting a first mentor and starting to believe in in the things that you do and not just doing them because it's fun and because you like them but really see that you can have an impact with them and that's the right thing to get out of this classic system and just start doing what you feel that you want to do in life. So that was a very important moment in my life. What fuels your creativity? Freedom. What would you like to achieve with your work? That's an easy one. I want to inspire basically every person on this planet to get out of this classic mindset and expand the horizons. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> um, yeah, inspire people to, to do something different in their lives and to think about what they want to do and, and show as many positive stories of people who m made something different. It doesn't matter if they were successful or if they failed, but people who do something different and inspire other people with my work. That's, that's my motivation. Mm. What advice would you give to aspiring talents? Mm. 
start doing and don't be afraid of making mistakes and have the confidence of what you're doing like an example would be the story of Stanley Kubrick uh, Kubrick's first photo he sold when he was 16 and soon after he got a, a good job as a press photographer and at the moment when he was 16 he wasn't a perfect artist but he of course he was smart but I think there is art when I look at old photos of mine I had no clue and <laughs> if I look at the technical data of this photo I had no clue of what I was doing but still there's some good shots in there you know and I think every young person with what is doing you you don't know it and you have this you're naive that's the, the important point you're naive and you're doing stuff and this, the more experience you get the more you lose this naivety how you say it in English and which is not a good thing because you always tend to make perfect stuff afterwards which ends up in either not doing it at all or needing a long time to do something not doing prototype stuff and not evolving with your work so keep naive stay foolish as Steve Jobs would say and just do your thing um, what inspires you? many things I'm inspired by by all kinds of arts especially music and photography good good movies um, a creative surrounding I love to be surrounded by creative people but also just sitting in a cafe where there's just many people around me and I feel that there's something moving and on the other hand the complete opposite like being in nature and having silence around you can also be very motivating um, and at the moment it's photography definitely what has been your greatest achievement so far hmm in classical terms I don't know what I, what I have achieved but For me, an achievement is to getting out of a system, coming from like the countryside, from a small town, getting out of the system without knowing why you're doing this or if you really can do this. And 10 years later, seeing that what you did was exactly right, you know, and today looking back and with all those mistakes I made and all these failures in this time, knowing that the feeling in the belly was the right feeling that, that showed me the path. And my achievement for me personally is that I gained freedom through all of this. I can stand up in the morning and do what I want and that's maybe the greatest achievement that you can get in life. What is the most beautiful thing you have ever seen? Bah. <laughs> like one of the most beautiful things I've seen was just three weeks ago standing in Israel on this on the mountain in front of a canyon and with a view that was just unbelievable and I think the important thing with this was that I wasn't expecting something like this I had no clue that somewhere in the middle of the desert there was a point where you have an endless horizon and you can look like it was just unbelievable and then the sun was going down there and I was just standing there for a few seconds and just thinking like It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, is there something like the most important thing in your life? With thing you mean material thing? Material thing, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, definitely my computer because it makes me do creative stuff. But also I would say my my very first guitar. I'm still playing a guitar that I bought like 15 years ago or something and I'm playing it every day basically no matter if I'm doing it like because I want to learn but just I'm holding it in the hand all the time when I'm sitting at the desk I always have a guitar in my hand basically just because it gives me the feeling of home somehow so what is your dream now? my dream professionally but also for my life it's um, staying as free as I am but it's kind of mixed up with my professional dream I want to travel the world meet the most 
remarkable people and personalities and tell their story to as many people as possible and inspire them with these stories. Um, and last question, it's um, very symbolic for Dreaming Come Valley, it's open space for whatever comes, comes. Yeah, if I would have one final statement, it would be that no matter who you are, you have the chance that you're doing something big. And what is important for me is that your, your dreams are really based upon the things that you feel and not based like many dreams. Many people, if you ask them first time for their dreams, they will ask, uh, tell you something that has to do with status and stuff. It's not about the status. If you're working on something that is successful in the in the normal world, which gives you the status and gives you money and stuff, it's maybe not the thing that makes you happy. And I would say start the thing that you're really feeling, that you have inside of you. If you don't know it yet, it will come. And then have the confidence to do it and focus on it and leave everything else outside. And there's going to be hard times if you do that. But hard times are there to make you grow. But you will regret it if you look back when you're 80 and you haven't done it. So start either sooner than later, I would say. Your dream works. Thank you. Thank you.